Hello everyone, this is Xin Jing from Paris. Today we focus on the energy crisis that many countries in Europe are facing at the moment as a result of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, which sees Russia cutting gas exports to Europe. We take you to France, Italy and Denmark to see the situations on the ground and see how local people are coping with the difficulties. People in many countries in Europe, including France, will have to deal with a colder autumn and winter, higher electric bills and a necessity to lower energy consumption. From September 23rd, all municipal facilities in the city of Paris will turn off their lights early for one hour in the evening to save energy. The measure will apply to all public buildings, including municipal museums, the town halls of each prison area and the tourist uh, attractions such as the uh, Eiffel Tower. In France, the price of uh, electricity, which is linked to gas price, has exploded Local media reported that uh, a total of 29 of the country's 56 nuclear reactors have been shut down for maintenance work and to repair corrosion problems. The ongoing energy crisis has had a significant negative impact on France's industrial output with some companies already resorting to layoffs and the government calling for energy sobriety. The country's aim is to reduce energy consumption by 10% over two years and by 40% by 2050. The government also aims to ease the conditions for access to aid for companies. This is Zhou Xiaotian, right in the city center of Rome, capital city of Italy. As cost of living crisis looms large in Europe, countries have been rolling out measures to slam brakes on energy prices. Before the start of conflict in Ukraine, Italy was the second largest importer of Russian gas in the EU, behind only Germany. Many people here, especially restaurants and bars owners, have seen uh, a double or triple bill for electricity and natural gas. There is a bar whose owner has been forced to take a puppet out of the closet and rearrange it, hang it with a thread outside the window of his club. A single addition, a yellow card on the chest of the puppet with an inscription, E arrivata la boletta. The bill has arrived. Now let's go and have a short interview with the bar owner. I will ask her what has brought her the idea of putting the puppets in the window and how much the bills has increased, what stress has it brought, and how will they cope with the situation. Questa idea, ma perché abbiamo avuto una bolletta molto salata rispetto alla precedente, eh, abbiamo avuto anche altri aumenti generali e quindi per far capire alla gente perché ho aumentato di 10 centesimi il caffè, eh, ho messo questo, questo pupazzo in vetrina con la scritta appunto arriva dalla bolletta perché ci sentiamo in, un po' impiccati noi commercianti, questo è il motivo. Eh, she said... Um, she put the puppet here to make people understand that uh, uh, her bar is uh, experiencing a, a much higher, much higher cost uh, of production. Like, um, um, and that's why he he raised the price of the coffee for ten cents. Mm, the, the the general idea is to make people understand that. Uh, Everything, everything, uh, prices for everything is increasing. 
sono cambiate, beh, le mie sono solo luce, ma insomma sono cambiate, sono tutte, anche perché a casa sono aumentate. E io la bolletta precedente era di circa 900 euro, questa di 2600 euro. Quindi per noi è un costo elevato, anche perché si lavora tanto di meno rispetto a prima del Covid, quindi eh, non ce la facciamo a pagare le bollette. E il 900 è per caso luce? Eh, sì, allora io... eh, non ho capito. Eh, L'importo sì, che la... mi, mi hai detto è, è di casa e dalla casa? No, l'importo attuale qui è 2600 euro, la bolletta della luce di casa è praticamente triplicata. Quindi, eh, hai capito la somma? Ok, ha detto che il price per for electricity was uh, was um, 900 euro a month ago but now it was 2600 euros um, besides of that everything prices for everything is increasing for them and the price was hardly to was difficult to afford and me al mio bar hanno portato che comunque la, le persone la gente che veniva anche a spendere a fare colazione a prendere un aperitivo vengono meno perché hanno tante spese pure a casa quindi è diminuito proprio il lavoro anche per effetto di tutti questi aumenti quello sicuramente se la gente deve fare a meno di qualcosa fa a meno delle cose superflue no? quindi fa a meno del caffè al bar della colazione al bar la fa a casa e quindi questo ha cambiato molto per noi uh, she just told us that there, there are fewer people that come into her, her bar because um, the, the cost of living are increasing for everybody so um, So people tend to, tend to uh, eat breakfast at home, so um, fewer people are uh, coming to his bar, so that's, that's a problem for, for them. The puppet had been stored in the window after a protest over shop closures following the COVID-19 pandemic. The bar owner just told us COVID has already thrown them to the ground, now there are these increases. They can no longer cope with these expenses. They have already had to fire two boys to try to stay afloat. Businessmen and businesswomen here in Rome are not the only ones who are worried about bills. There are thousands of owners of restaurants and pubs complaining every day about increasing electricity and gas prices. Increasing the cost of coffee and food, some of them say, is useless. It will only try to drive customers away. In addition to bills, traders are concerned about also increases in the prices of raw materials. Some of the managers have asked the Rome government to suspend the payment, or they will be forced to lower their shutters and close their doors. We all feel it, and, and, and I do have to think about my uh, energy consumption, which means I am actually looking every day what time of the day is the cheapest to do my dishwashing or my washing. Um, the, the rising prices will, will affect our residents. Some of them would, of course, Uh, be able to pay the, the big amount of money the rises in, indicates but some of them will have problems and they might even have to think about their possibilities of continuing staying here as residents. Most of us are retired then we have a pension and many pensions are not regulated uh, by the prices So if you think when you move in here, maybe 20 years ago, that you had a, a lot of money to back you up if something happened, there could be a surprise over the years because um, normally the fortunes 
and the bank is not growing as much as your savings are not growing as much as the inflation will do. We have had some good years uh, the last five, six years where we had very slow movement in prices. But now it really takes uh, speed. And if it continues like that, some years, I am afraid that there will be people that will be hurt because they had to use the, uh, the money in the piggy bank. And because I'm a pensioner, um, it's perhaps more um, effective on my way of life than it is for people that are still earning a living because my income is fixed. And I had a big surprise going to uh, the petrol station and finding the price going up literally daily. Uh, that hurts. And it means that when you go shopping for other things, you don't want to buy quite so much because you're losing money that way. So, yes, it's, it's a problem. But I understand it um, because we have the problem in uh, inflation and followed now by the uh, problem that we've had with COVID, which has restricted movement of goods and therefore cost rather more. And uh, finally, we've got the Ukraine issue. And uh, that is going to cause problems, I think, throughout the world in terms of rising prices, particularly so far as energy is concerned. And energy has an effect on absolutely every product because all products have to be moved and to move things, you have to use energy. So yes, I feel that uh, it's, it's had a big effect on our lives and will continue to do so.